Hi everybody, this is Heather with Yafe Henna, and really quick, we're going to do a fun, beautiful um, Mardi Gras masquerade ball um, mask tutorial. Uh, it's something that I've been fascinated with for a very long time. I just think masquerade ball masks, Mardi Gras masks are just gorgeous, and it just screams to be um, painted on your face. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to do this. I did um, a half mask on myself uh, recently, the last time I did a market, and um, kept it on most of the day and just got tons of compliments. People really thought it was just beautiful, beautiful. So um, I wanted to show you guys so that you could um, do this uh, to yourself or to clients, anything like that that you want. And um, yeah, so that was it. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so to get started, what we're going to do is I'm going to take the white on a nice fine pointed uh, pointed brush just like this one and we're going to go ahead and do just a dot just kind of about an inch inch or so maybe an inch and a quarter um, away from the, the very very corner of your eye and then I'm going to do another dot just up again uh, probably like a half inch away from um, the end of my eyebrow there. And this is just going to give us a little guide. And we're just going to go all the way around underneath the eye. Just like they do when you see um, these masks, you just want to paint it the same way that they do um, the eye cutouts and masks. And you can actually go online and, and find different masks and kind of get get some inspiration. I'm sure that there's a lot of different ones. But I'm just doing a really simple simple outline around my eye. And I'm just going to make it nice and nice and light. And then what we're going to do is actually paint over this later, but this is this is our guide for now. Okay. So now that we have that, the next thing that we're going to do is start doing some just some fun little shapes coming off of the mask. A lot of these uh, masks that you see actually they're made out of feathers. A lot of them are. So I'm doing kind of like something that you would see that's made out of feathers where it's got those nice long it almost actually could look like a claw too which is kind of fun. Um, idea for a Halloween mask maybe. So then I'm going to come up here and I am going to go right over, right on over the eyebrow and cover that up and just keep doing those points. I'm going to do a nice long point in the center just to change it up. You don't want to have them all be uniform. I mean, you can, but it just, uh, you know, for the sake of making it a little more interesting, it's nice to do some different sized um, shapes like that. And right underneath my eye, just to change it up a little bit, you can kind of see hopefully, um, I'm going to do a little peacock feather. So I'm just doing a really nice, flowy, simple line, and I'm ending it at a point. And I'm going to do kind of like a teardrop shape and then I'll fill that in. But this is just to this is just to highlight to figure out where I want things. Um, if you put something down on your face and you don't like it, this is the time to um, to go ahead and um, erase that and redo it. So right now we're just giving ourselves a guide. That's all that we're doing. And it kind of makes it like a I think the best way to describe it is kind of like a paint by numbers thing. So I'm going to do another peacock feather right here. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. The lighting in here is not the best, but I figured it'll do. Okay, so we've got that. I'm just going to go over that really quick. And maybe you can just do some little, little light lines if you want to mess around with other spots to put things on here. But for now, that's what I'm doing. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is bring a little line right across my nose here because I'm going to do a peacock feather across my nose and that's going to tie it in to the rest of my face here since we're doing a half mask and not a full mask so actually we'll go ahead and do another little triangle claw thing over here too 
Okay. So hopefully you can see that. So that's step one, just outlining the mask. Once you've done this a couple times, it goes by really, really, really fast. And I think when you're, you can do um, both sides on yourself. Um, but I think that if you're doing it on a kid or somebody else, a client, it's going to go by a lot quicker than you think. And um, a good way to figure out um, how to keep it even, if you're doing both sides of it, you want it to be symmetrical, is to put um, dots where your little, you know, you do one side, you figure out, okay, that's about mid cheek, so you're going to go to the other side, put a dot right about where the point of that would be, and that's just going to help you. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that's going to help you along the way. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is add the color. So the colors that I picked, I'll show you here, are purple, ooh, kind of a, what is this? This is like a maroon or magenta yellow, and then I've got a little bit of an orange that I thought would be kind of fun. And if you're doing a Mardi Gras specific mask, um, those colors are going to be like a yellow, gold, purple, and green. Um, and there's more colors than that, but I think those are the typical um, typical colors for Mardi Gras. So I'm going to spray all my paints here. Go ahead and grab one of them. Doesn't matter which one. And then I'm going to fill in all of the areas that I want to be this color before I move on to the next one. And that's just going to make make things a lot easier. And you can you can completely cover up the white if you want. I really hope you guys can see this okay. My camera keeps wanting to do interesting things. My computer is trying to lock the screen. Uh, anyway, so okay. I'm going to pick all of the spots. I'm going to break it up so I'll do I have four colors, so I think I'll do like every fourth one, this pretty maroon fuchsia color, and then I think I'll do this first one right here. I'm going to do that one in this pretty kind of maroon fuchsia. Such a pretty color. Love this color. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one here, that same color. It's one of my favorites. Okay. So let's see, and then the only other thing, I've got three peacock feathers here, so I think I'll do this one. I'm going to give, you know how peacock feathers have that little kind of the eye in the center of it, um, or that dot? So I'm going to actually do that, that fuchsia color, and then I'll pick um, other colors to do um, the other two. Okay, so I'm done with that color, and I think I'll go, eh, I think I'll do my orange next, so it'll be fun. Okay, so I'm going to load up my brush, and it's important, and it's all, it's something that you're going to learn as you go, if you're, especially if you're just starting face painting. Um, you figure out a good consistency for the face paint, because you don't want it to be so thick that you have to constantly reload your brush, and you don't want it to be, you know, so runny that it's just dripping down your customer's face, or your face. If you just like to, to do different, practice different designs on yourself, and you'll figure it out. You figure out what a good consistency is, what's too much water, what's not enough. Okay, oh, I like these colors. Okay, so I think actually I'll do orange on the tip of my nose, so I'm just going to do a nice little, almost like a teardrop. You can do just a teardrop on it, that's, that's fine. All right, next I think I'm going to do the purple. I'm going to have to respray my purple here. And that's another tip. Um, people do this a couple different ways. Some people just like to dip their brush in water, dip it in the paint, almost like if you were painting with watercolor. Um, I actually like the technique of spraying um, water, taking a little spray bottle. You've seen this in at um, least one other video that I've done. Spray bottle sprit, um, just spritz the, the actual container of paint itself to activate the paint. Ooh, this is a pretty purple. I like this purple a lot. It's nice and dark. Okay, and then I think um, I'm actually oh I'll do I'm gonna do this peacock feather with that color, and then I think I will do because I want to have something that's yellow. So actually, what I think I'll do is take 
the purple and just do a nice little just find random places to do some little swirlies or you do like vine things but these masks always have a lot of different fun little things going on so just get really creative with it I mean that's what this is all about is just getting creative and having fun with it okay do a little swirly right there okay so we got that and then the last color I'm going to do is yellow and then we're going to get the black and outline everything these are really fun colors they're very like carnival bright that's what I love about them okay so I'm going to do this last big triangle I'm going to do that in the yellow and just make sure that when you are doing these anything like this or if you're doing claws or anything like that always bring your kind of flick your brush out at the end and that's going to give you that nice sharp point that you're going to want okay so actually I think I'm going to do I'm going to add a claw right here because I think that yellow needs to be incorporated somewhere else so I'm going to do that nice I like this you can add some little dots I mean like I said it's all about being creative okay so I think I've gotten all the colors that I want laid down so now I'm going to take my black and this is probably the most important part I would venture to say the most important part of this whole design is the black because the black um, is going to outline it it's going to make it pop and that's really important that's what makes you know because you could leave it like this and you know it looks okay but once you add that black that's when it really 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 starts to pop okay so um, again I'm gonna go back and the first thing that I'm gonna do is outline my eye you can already see it starting to really come together just with that first stroke of black it really makes it pop okay so then we're gonna do the top part and I think with this, you can do a thin line if you want on these, but I think that it makes it look a little more dramatic if it's thicker. You know, and again, personal preference. Totally personal preference. That's just what I that's just what I like to do with it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring this down and I'm gonna start to outline those. those shapes I think if I was doing this on someone else, it would probably go a lot faster than if I was doing it on myself. Well, than doing it on myself here. Sorry, my screen keeps wanting to shut itself off. So if you're wondering what the heck that weird light change is all about, that would be it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And you can do... Um, you can do a few different things with these. You can um, you can go ahead and um, if you have little gems, you can put gems on the on the tips, all the tips of these things. You can do um, you can do a lot of different things. You can add little swirls or vines or something like that coming off of them. There's a lot of different options with these with these masks. I think. And look, definitely um, go online if you're really interested in trying this. Um, you know, use my techniques as as a um, you know as a guide for a, an easy way to to lay everything out. 
but definitely go online and uh, and look up some masks. You know, you might find one that totally inspires you to do something completely different and crazy, and that's awesome. So definitely keep that in mind. That's the nice thing about art. It's not rocket science. It's all about what you want to do with it. I get to joke about rocket science now because that's what my husband is studying. <laughs> okay. I'm having a little show. This is what I was talking about with, you know, doing this on someone else is a little bit easier. But we will make it through. My hair keeps getting in the way here. All right, so now we're getting somewhere. Okay, getting towards the end. Ooh, I just love that. Love this mask. It's one of it's one of my new favorite pieces to do. Um, just because it is so fun, and it's really quite grown up. That's the nice thing about it is that it isn't. You know, this would be really great um, for adults to do and kids, either one. But I just think. Um, a little, little more mysterious, a little more grown up. And actually, I probably would recommend now that I'm doing these little feathers here. Could just be that my paint is too thick on here. But with these peacock feathers, you want to have um, a brush that's going to give you some really nice fine detail. Um, it's getting a little clumpier than I'd like right now, or rather a little thicker, a little thicker than I'd like, but that is okay. I will deal. And with the peacock feathers, just hopefully you can see this. You know, I'm making them kind of squiggly. Some of them are kind of overlapping each other. Just play around with it. So you can see that there. Okay. Oh, and I almost forgot this guy right here. The last time that I did this mask, I actually went ahead and I had um, I put a little gem just right on the inside where of, of my eye right there. But you can see how that's coming together. The black just makes it just pop, which I love. And then the glitter just amps it up, amps it up to a whole other level. Okay, so now I'm just going to do some little peacock feathers here. And use um, a technique that you can use to uh, kind of give it more of a feathered look. It's just very lightly on the tip of that um, peacock feather. You're just going to do really little tiny strokes. Hopefully you can see that, and it's going to just give you the illusion of um, those little t those little tiny feathers sticking out. Okay, so the last one it looks like I've got to do is on my nose here. Again, I'm going to flick. I really wish I had a better camera. I'm going to flick that, the feather, so that it gives me a nice little nice little feathered look there. Okay, so we've got that. 
Okay, you guys. Um, I went ahead and I dressed this up. You can see that I added um, little extra stuff. And all I did, you guys, was take um, the black and I just in between. You can see in between those triangle um, shapes that we did at the beginning. I just did these little flicks of black, and it gives it just even more of a feathered look, which I think makes it look even a little more authentic. Um, and yeah, just add the glitter, and you can just see. I mean, this is this is going to be a really popular um, new design if you add it to your repertoire. I know I'm going to add it to mine. I hope that you guys um, enjoyed it, and you're going to try it. Um, thanks so much for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.